Hello, so I hadn't done a video on a gas mask in a while, which I'm sure lots of you will be aware about because I always get asked to. And here's one I bought a while ago and just haven't had the time yet to do a video on it. So it's a US non-combatant, so civilian gas mask, M1A2, and I'm sure that's II on the side there. So medium adult size and property of the US government. Uh, not anymore, but there we go. So let me try and open it with one hand, if I'm even able to do that. It's a popper, isn't it, on there, so hang on. There we go. Makes it always easier to open. And it's nice and bubble wrapped inside. So let me just put the camera down a second while I pull the mask out. Because I'm doing it one-handed. And there we go. There is the mask. So with its bubble wrap on it. So let's get it out of there. Because I have actually had this out of there before. So there we go. It's obviously not in the best of condition because it's such an old mask, but there is a US M1A2 civilian mask. So basically the job of this, and I can get it to uncompress a little bit if I, I won't put it on because obviously the contents of the filter, but this isn't actually perished rubber in too bad an extent. So let's just see if there's something's beeping, probably telling me it's low on battery somewhere else in the room. So there we go. There's that. So Let's fold it back up again. So there's your output valve there, or exhale valve there. Obviously your intake valve is the big giant coffee can style filter. So it's quite cool because there's actually instructions on the filter itself, which is still very readable. Anti-fogging instructions. So like most of these old masks, I guess with celluloid sort of cellulite type eyepieces, they've um, gone a bit orangey, sort of yellow over time like the German ones do. But in terms of quality, this is definitely better than the British World War II civilian masks, um, because those are pretty nasty and horrible. It's a better feeling rubber, you know, it feels more like it's been cut to an actual shape. Again, I have no idea what's beeping and being annoying in this room, but as soon as I finish this stream, not stream, I'll video, I'm going to have to go have a look and find out. But yeah, so this is one of those masks where I literally just got it because somewhere in the UK had it in stock. And while it was a bit expensive, they don't really turn up masks like this in the UK. Um, so obviously, there'll be other channels on YouTube which will be much better for giving you the full history of things like this. But in comparison to something like the British World War II civilian mask, the American one is definitely better. Um, out of all the World War II civilian masks, I've handled the Finnish M39, or whatever it was called, is the best one by far. Which is that sort of good quality latex hood type style one. A bit like the German VM37, but it's even better than that one. But this certainly isn't a bad type, so it's medium adult, as you can see. Um, like I said, it just tends to fold up on its own, but um, in terms of like how long a filter would last, it seems a fairly good sized filter. Obviously, that doesn't mean there's a bit more weight on your head. Obviously, don't breathe for old filters like this, I wouldn't recommend it. But yeah, it would have probably done the job at the time of keeping you alive as a civilian. So, you know, there you go. I wonder if you could have actually, using that sort of band there, replaced the filters fairly easily. Yeah, there you go. So, so this isn't really a history lesson on this, but obviously we're kind of going into a time a bit where it becomes more relevant again. At one point, lots of civilians were, you know, considered to be at risk of chemical weapons attack and things like that. Um, you know, from bombers during World War II, although the US is in a fairly safe place for protection for its actual civilians. Um, but yeah, this was um, obviously what the US came up with for that type of design. It looks like it would have served that job perfectly well. As I said, there's a couple of different British civilian masks, and the, none of them are very good. Civilian duty's alright, but the, um, like the Mickey Mouse one's better quality than the actual um, proper, um, you know, adults one, which is pretty awful, but it probably have saved your life. Like I said, the German and the Finnish masks are actually pretty damn good up until near the end of the war. But yeah, so, there you go. As I said, couldn't give you too much information on it, and I didn't research loads of stuff beforehand, but people did want me to get a video out, and I did have the chance to film it right now, so there you go.